So there's literally two endings to this. Either we save everybody and we sacrifice Chloe or we save Chloe but everybody else in Arcadia Bay dies. I think we have to do as she says because like I said before everybody has a destiny and if her destiny was to die or whatever then she has to die and because we've delayed that we've caused the storm so I think we it's such a hard choice we, we have to we just have to Max it's time Chloe I'm so so sorry I I don't want to do this I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe, I'm gonna miss you so much. you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. Back in the bathroom, this is the part where she has to die. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Again, this is, there's supposed to be muted music here to make it more dramatic, but I can't put those parts in.
we just let it all happen? Warren, Mr. Jefferson, they would have gotten caught pretty much right away. We'd have to, that we wouldn't, oh, well, like we saw in the picture, we'd go talk to Joyce and David, but Guys, I really enjoyed this game, even though there was a big break in between episodes, this, it, basically I wasn't expecting that ending. I kind of knew it had to do with Chloe, but I didn't realize we had to actually sacrifice her, but that's kind of what I started suspecting before the ending, like before we had to, I think it was before we passed out and we had to go through all those, that maze stuff. Um, what I was saying is if there's somebody has a destiny you can't screw around with it it has to happen and now everybody's going to this and Warren was saying nobody's gonna care but we're seeing all these people Warren Kate Kate's alive that's good basically everything bad that had happened that we played in the game hasn't happened it's just Chloe's gone Everybody else is here. Principal Wells. The parents, obviously. Us. But I've noticed there's not a lot of people there. It's like the people we're closest with, I guess. I mean, Principal Wells is there because he's the principal. Victoria's there. It's, I'm surprised about that. Shows that even he cared. And there's the butterfly.
this this entire game, even though it's probably like this is a three hour recording, so I think this game is about nineteen to twenty hours long, depending on how you play it. Like I like to investigate stuff, but this uh, I feel like this game has taught me a lesson. Like <clears throat> it's mainly taught me I don't understand. I activated Cortana and for some reason she keeps activating when I don't actually say the things to activate her. She just starts up. So I probably missed some things in the credits there, but what I was saying was um what was I saying? If there's one thing that this game has taught me, or this is what I feel it has taught me, is that don't abuse your powers, I guess. And at the same time, if there is a possibility that uh, people can have powers, or... Like, that's probably a very slim chance, kind of like in Max's sake, but basically if you have them, make sure you use them the right way, because, like, I'm pretty sure if I ever get powers, especially that involves time, if it's, okay, let's put it this way, if it's a simple power, like, say, I don't know, being able to move objects with your eyes or something, or... Um, uh, I wouldn't say reading people's minds. But uh, let's just say something simple like uh, magic. You can, kind of like in Merlin, you, you can move stuff, but it, magic can be a little tricky too um, on that subject. But whatever, something simple, fine. But if it's something complicated like time, if you screw around with it, you screwed around with it, it gets bad and because um, because Chloe was delayed uh, because she kept being saved by us um, because she was delayed by uh, to die um, that tornado came along to kill her for sure basically and we had to you know sacrifice her because it was destined to happen but One other thing I want to say is I see that uh, Square Enix is in Montreal. I think it looks like it, but I'm like I I want to become a video game programmer and I think I'm definitely going to apply with Square Enix when uh, I finish college for that in the fall. Actually, no, it's I'm gonna be in college for a while. <laughs> It says Europe. Maybe they're from Europe? Because I, I, I saw Montreal. I'll have to look that up. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, they got a French translator. German translator. Additional. Edos, Montreal. <sighs> but yeah, that's that last episode really jerked around with my emotions. I got a little teary-eyed, not gonna lie. Especially at the end there. That's just, I, I tend to be a little sensitive with this stuff. Like, I easily get teary eyed, but I don't, like, bawl my eyes out. I just. I feel sad, basically. And. I almost want to think that that's something good about me because I'm kind of like Max. I care about others and I try to help them out as much as I can. But it's gotten to the point now where I can't really stand up for myself, and my dad's always telling me, you know, like, fight back, or, uh, not, f not, not, like, physically, but say, I don't know, um, just an example, say, someone says I can't return this item, but I have a very valid reason, and just because he says I can't, I'd, I'll go, probably go, 
oh, okay, and then go home. But my dad says that I should actually stay there and say, look, I am returning this. This is happening, blah, blah, blah. But that's just a situation, a stupid situation I thought up of. But this, uh... Oh, I don't know what to think after that. But I, as much as I hate saying this, I'm, I'm, I definitely feel like I need a smoke after this. Cause it's like I'm not, I'm not stressed out, but I almost, I almost feel like I have to calm down. Did I see what? Someone messaged me. And did I? Did you see it? See what? <laughs> uh, well, there's not much left of the credits, but I'm going to let it go. Let the music finish. Whatever music I decide to play, I'll try and find something calming, uh, something that fits, anyways. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this series. I know I am sorry for the delay, but yeah, feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And, uh, bye for meow. I know I just ended, but <laughs> I basically did my outro, but... This is the selection part, or the where our decisions. And it looks like we went with the majority. We sacrificed Chloe, but it's a big half and half. A lot of, I guess, some people just couldn't let go of Chloe, unless they. It also is kind of like we played this a little bit. We let. How do I say this? We waited too long to play it, so the majority of the people have played it, and so it's fairly even but next David got a scar during a fight 96% okay that's a big percentage but 4% didn't I wonder hmm. David killed Jefferson oh we could have avoided that so we probably our answers we probably shouldn't have told him that Chloe died hmm you saved the trucker. Yeah, I, I heard him, but I, I could not find him. I didn't see him anyways, so... Sorry. <laughs> I wish I could, but also it wouldn't have been much... Wouldn't really have been worth it, I want to say. Like, it w no, it w there wouldn't have been a point to save him, because in the end we did save him, because the tornado technically never happened. You didn't save Evan. 36%. Yeah, I saw the I saw where he like passed out and Max said something, "Oh, I can't let him die" or something like that. I thought that just meant we had to quickly go back in time to stop the tornado. But again, I'm I, It looks like I did kind of bad this time. You saved Lisa. I'm looking at the picture and I am not sure where that it looks like though it almost looks like a house or a light I don't know but again the bad majority I did really bad this time oh my god uh, you didn't save the fisherman 28% like that would have taken that one that would have taken time two it was really important to get to the blue whales diner and, like I said before, it wouldn't have made a difference because, in the end, we would have stopped it all anyways. None of, none of this wouldn't have happened. None of them wouldn't have died. But I understand the, the they put it in there anyways. Um, you didn't change Joyce's mind about David. 64%. Wow. I didn't know we were able to do that. You didn't tell the truth about Rachel to Frank. What? You 
Kiss War and 68%. That's expected, though. But... It's like the one about telling the truth about Rachel to Frank, changing Joyce's mind, and... David not killing Jefferson. Basically all of it, like, it almost wasn't my fault. Like, I didn't do it on purpose. Okay, that was a bad choice of words. It, yes, I guess it was my fault, but I just didn't know. But anyways, I've rambled on enough. I just... guess it's it's over but I really enjoyed this game uh, I really like the the art style I almost want them to come up with another one because it almost felt like the telltales style with the choices and stuff but it wasn't like the same style where it, uh, in the action telltale games they have um, like you push the side, you push the arrow key to go to the side or whatever, and it's like it's timed and whatever. But yeah, um, it's a really good game. And just my my mind does not know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go now. I already did my outro. Bye.